I feel like I see you two every week now. Swear to God, it wasn't even our fault. What she said, except for the swear to God part. I like to think God isn't keeping tabs on 17-year-old girls. Oh, so in your spiritual worldview, God only keeps tabs on fully matured women? Yeah, Miss Lynn. Back that divine ass up. Enough! I hate talking. Talking's for gay people. What a theory. Hey, can I sit with you? Why? The kids at the other table keep throwing ketchup packets at me. You're not covered in ketchup, though. They don't know you have to open them first. Damn, we need a remedial bullying class, too. So, how do you like remedial English? I guess it's whatever. My mom was really pissed, though. Yeah? What about your dad? My dad killed himself. Wow, dramatic much? Oh, no, he killed himself last year. Who said we're buying anything? Just steal the shit. Oh, okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The band? Yeah, they're all in my shuffle, and they might be in town this Saturday. Oh. Is there a problem? No, I'm just surprised you like MSI, because you're so... normal. Bitch, I could cut myself just as much as you do. I just have better shit to do, okay? That's not how it... Uh, okay, so... What Fuck, you're right. What's your name? Jekka. What's yours? Nicole. Why'd your parents name you Jekka? Well, no, they called me Jessica, but I started doing Jekka for short. Also, Jessica's a name that just screams married at 20. Oh yeah, marriage sucks. Never doing it. Totally. Whenever I play fuck, marry, kill, I answer fuck marriage and kill myself. But I let you copy off my test. You got a B plus. What, are we fucking over B pluses now? At least lie and say it was an A. If it was an A, would you have considered it more? What do you think the answer is? Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Literally, don't be you. Kill your mom. Even I'd go out with you then. What the fuck? Yeah, actually, then you'd be halfway cool. You guys can't mess around like that. I'm not messing around. Yeah, we're not. It's either me or your mom. Pick one. <laughs> Seriously? Come on, guys. Oh, I am serious. Kill your mom and I'm all yours. Uh, oh, damn. I left my credit card in the car. Credit card? Uh, yeah, hold on. I'll be right back. But gay marriage isn't legal here. Were you looking to get married? I don't know if I'd ever want to get married. So why do you care? And by the time you do, it'll probably be legal anyway. I'm not that optimistic when it comes to our government. Ari, you're white. You could be triple gay and the government's still gonna worry about you. You really think so? Oh, hey Nicole, you still hanging around out here? Did I tell you that's a cool shirt, by the way? Look, hey Crispin, you want to hear something about Ari? Oh my god, don't! Ari's gay. She's gay? Yeah, like lesbian gay. Oh, that's cool. Is, is there, like, another part to the story, or...? Go down to the cafeteria. You'll find it there. Oh, it's like a mystery. That's pretty cool. You're so creative inside. Sorry, just sorting out the ticket stubs. You said you only save them for the special movies, right? Yeah. Why do you have the ticket stub for Balls of Fury? Is that the ping pong movie with the fat guy from Lost? I guess. You're put it next to the Star Wars one. They're basically the same movie. Thanks again for the help. Yeah, no problem. So anyway, did you hear what happened with Kelly last week? No. She was at a party and somebody walked in on her right as a guy skeeted on her face. What the hell? Why wouldn't she lock the door? I think she wants to get caught. Uh, what do you think, Karen? What's skeeted? Huh? Huh. Skeeted on? What does that mean? Um... So it's like when a boy- Dude, it's not that hard. It just means to compliment something. Excuse me? Well, why don't you just say compliment? It's just slang. Skeet, skeeting, skeeted on. Like how Jekka skeeted on my collage? Oh my god. Exactly. I'm skeeting all over your collage right now. It's awesome. Thanks. Yeah, it took so long to put together. Yeah, you're pretty cool. Hang out with me and Jekka more, and guys are going to be skeeting all over you. You really think guys would want to skeet on me? Yeah, with your glasses on and everything. You're unbelievable. What's wrong, Jekka? Oh, um, nothing. Just... nothing. By the way, I like your outfit. Did anyone skeet on you today? No, I'm pretty elusive. She's just being humble, Karen. Jekka really likes it when three or four guys skeet on her at once. Wow, that many? I've always thought you were really pretty, so it makes sense. Thanks. Yeah, and she never wants it to stop. Not until she's gagging on compliments. Okay, so me and Nicole need to go now, but is that why you're teaching here? To convert quirky art girls into clan members? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds too easy. The art school girls are absolutely terrified of black people. How is it two ninety nine dollars for a drop it like it's hot ringtone? It's bleeps and bloops. Fuck out of here. Who is this? Wait. Hey, thanks for listening in the women's restroom. Oh, it's that weirdo. How do you get my number? Whatever, let's see. I love seeing you and hearing your voice. Your attitude just works for me, IDK. Yeah, IDK's real romantic. I wanted to show you what you do to me. Show me what? I don't see- Oh my god, all three inches of it? What the fuck? 
Jack, why? Something you two would like to share with the rest of the class? Like what? Actually, could we be excused to the restroom? Since when do you ask? Well, I just had an anxiety flashback to when Hillary Clinton lost to Obama last summer. Oh, oh no. Yeah, we don't care what color he was, it's still misogynistic. Understandable, take all the time you need. Uh, hello? Who dis? It's me, Kyle. Kyle who? We were at the barcade yesterday, remember? Oh shit, yeah? So, I thought it over, and I killed my mom. So, you want to go out in ten years when they let me out? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Aw, oh, come on, you promised! You can't back out now! What do you think, Nicole? I'm thinking how the fuck are you getting out in ten years? Oh, hey, hey, what's up? What the fuck do you want? What? No, nothing. Just saw you reading and was like, wow, she looks real smart like that. Is this, like, a usual thing for you? Reading in public? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So what you reading there? Mein Kampf. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. It's supposed to be really interesting, right? Uh-huh. What do you think about it, like, specifically? I think it has, uh, like, really good themes in a story. Big fan of the message and Mein Kampf? Yeah, you could say that. What's your favorite part? What's yours? Oh, uh, like, the middle. Did you read it in English or German? Was it in German first or something? Yeah, it's the only German book America cares about. Oh, that means it's super good, then. I should recommend it to a friend, right? Right. So can I sit with you? Mein Kampf is the Nazi book. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. So can I sit with you? I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this eventually. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. What the fuck? Are you thinking about staples again? No, like what the fuck is going on? Yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is, I still love everything about girls. I love how they talk, how they laugh, how they use moisturizer, how they do makeup. I love how girls do their hair, how they smell nice, how they don't wear the same thing every day. And I really love how they hold your hand and how it feels when they kiss you back. Dating you helped me find the words for that, Nicole. Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like, even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. And so the month we had together made me realize something else. Realize what? I realize that guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. Gym coach has been around the block, sweetie. Yeah, well, sorry it didn't work out. I've had less periods than states in America, but again, sorry it didn't work out. Oh, Ari, do you have a cigarette? I don't smoke. Of course. What's your problem? Do I look like I want to be asked? Calm down. You hear this bitch, Nicole? Yeah, she can't tell you what to do. Okay, what the fuck is this? Can you stoners act normal for once? Stoner? What is it, 1990? Show us your purity ring, Jonah's sister. Show me the guy in his 30s you're banging this weekend. Yo. <sighs> you're really cute, Ari. Shut up. No, seriously. Your eyeliner is always sharp. Your lip gloss matches your hair. You're actually really pretty. Thanks. That's why I want to look you in the face when I stab you. Okay, I'm out of here. Yeah, so girls, uh, if your moms are single, you know who to let know. You know what I'm saying? My mom's married. Why do you want to fuck our mom so bad? Yeah, my mom's the last person I want to fuck. What the hell do you see in her? Whoa, whoa, girls, why you gotta go there? If you don't go to the ATM and get each of us $100, we're gonna report you. Damn it. All right, where's my car? And we want it in fives. You know the purple five? Oh, I love the purple five. Yeah, purple fives, bitch! What's that thing in the bottom corner? That's the head. Ew, uncircumcised, that's disgusting! Get it away! You thought he'd send 11 pics of a photogenic dick? I'm gonna throw up! Uncircumcised men should fucking kill themselves! Totally. Your wife is probably such a bitch when you come home, but we're two hot girls with no expectations at all. Huh. Well, my wife is a bitch cunt whore who I'm killing first if I ever get fired. And see, that doesn't scare us off at all. Dude, can we just go to an easier book? This is the easier book. Is everyone in the Reading Buddies program this stupid? Hey, the principal sent you here to help me, so make good or I'm snitching hard. Okay, fine. All right, try this first page. Sound it out. Uh, w um, um, one fissa, twoe, 
Fists, uh... Are you serious? You picked a hard one on purpose. It's a Dr. Seuss book, you fucking dipshit. Oh, yeah, sure. If it's so easy, why don't you try it, huh? One fish, two fish, red fish, you bitch. Huh? Wait, that last part is... Blue fish! See, I knew you couldn't do it. This is a really potent punishment. Fuck, no, I want to drop out. Here we go again. What? School. It's senior year. You're not used to this by now. Are you? I'm not either, but you sound like a sitcom. Here we go again. Okay, so what? 175? How about 120 and a buzz? I'm open to trades. What you got? You're an ex, right? I could be, but why is your ex shiny and red? Is that cough medicine? Dude, no way. It's only like that because she got it from Mardi Gras. Yeah, it blends in with the necklace. Is red a Mardi Gras color? Do you want to get fucked up or not? How do I know if they're good? Take one. No, actually take all of them because they're kind of weak. Okay. You, you want to watch Mythbusters? This is like a really bad date. At least we're not in school. That's a horrible comeback for that. What are you going to do when you're 25 and working at Outback Steakhouse? Well, at least we're not in school. I would never fucking work at Steakback Outhouse. That doesn't change the fact we're stuck here without gas money and your mom only pays for the basic cable package. So you don't want to watch Mythbusters? We literally just left school to avoid men who go, this is true. Why the fuck would I watch a show about them? What the hell is this again? The school's sex addict rehab program. Lexapro. I need Lexapro. Just because we flirted with that guy? I know. We get the one male cop who isn't a pedophile. Is that our silver lining? Maybe the mall cop snitching to the truancy officer is. It's a little entertaining to see what kids we know here. Oh, hey! Didn't know you guys had to go here, too. Is this surprising? No. No, it's not. Hello? Earth to Nicole! Oh my god, make him go away. Jeffrey, how does a guy who sounds like a cartoon also have a sex addiction problem? Uh, can those not be together? Do you get turned on by the paperclip guy in Microsoft Office? Sorry, I'm a Mac user. Is that why you're here? Yeah, Jacka, is that why you're here? Oh my god, totally. Every time he pops up, I just want to rub against him. Rub against him? That's so... Ugh, sorry. Last week we covered how to avoid sharing inappropriate thoughts with other girls. No kidding. A whole lesson? Yeah, is that why you're here? Well... If I shared why I'm here, then I'd be relapsing. Come on, we all need to relapse every now and then. Are you peer pressuring me? More like peer helping you. My Valium ran out a couple months ago, but this morning I took so much of my mom's Valium, I can't even feel my lungs when I breathe in. I'm just zen. Yeah, and zen's a good-ass fucking feeling, Jeffrey. Uh, okay, fine. I was in the after-school gaming club playing Jack and Daxter on the PS2, and, uh... What a setup for this. Yeah, so I'm playing it, and no one else was around, and I just kind of felt like, you know, feeling around down there. Yeah? Well, one thing led to another, and before I knew it, I was out in the open touching with one hand, while the other was still playing Jack and Daxter. You jacked off to Jack and Daxter? What? No, I didn't do it to Jack and Daxter. I did it while playing Jack and Daxter. (laughs) (laughs) And you finished and everything? Don't ask that. I wasn't trying to do that. I just spaced out and eventually the club sponsor walked in on me. So I had to go here or else they'd expel me. You really put the Jack in Jack and Daxter, huh? So you're doing it, and what's Jack and Daxter doing? He's just running around? They were running around. Jack and Daxter's two separate characters, Jekka. So you just told two girls how you got off to a video game, but you're more concerned if we know the characters in the video game. Uh, yeah. Why would you do that to a game for little kids? It's T for Teen. So is this a group thing? Did Daxter Jack 2? Uh, I never played Jack 2. I wouldn't know. We need to get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? He's probably the worst one here. Everyone else should be cool. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Please make these urges go away. My cousin is not hot. My cousin is not hot. Okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. I wish we could walk out, but the principal's watching the door so hard. I think we're gonna need a distraction. Huh. Hey, Kelly. What's up, Nicole? 
Jeffrey was just telling me how he wants to shove his face in your boobs. Uh, what? Well, hey, I didn't say that. Oh my god, Jeffrey, don't lie. The first step is admitting you have a problem. If you were attractive, I'd immediately let you, but you're just another ugly stalker. Yeah, keep it in your pants for once, Jeffrey. If I wasn't in a relationship with Jesus now, I would hurt you so bad. Okay, okay, please don't. But then he said that you were way cuter and less slutty than Ari. Oh my god, that's actually really sweet. Thank you, Jeffrey. I'd still never fuck you in a million years. Same. Same. Oh, so you think you can just talk shit about me? Bitch, don't be jealous. Bitch, I don't get jealous of sluts. <laughs> yeah, Ari, I'm not a slut anymore, okay? I have a relationship with God and Jesus now. Is that who told you to sell your ass for an iPod Nano last week? Damn, not even a video one? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Face it, bitch. Jesus is a pimp and born-again virgins like you are his army of hoes. Hey, guys, let's settle down and try to be at least halfway respectful here. Why don't you fuck off and finish last, virgin? You had it coming, Jeff. Oh, now you have beef with Jeffrey? Sorry, didn't mean to insult your future customers. Do you actually want to fucking fight right now? Bitch, I brought a knife to school. Don't even try me. Yeah, right. What are you going to do with that? Stab you and watch the skeet pour out? Not if I choke you first. I'll spit in your face. I'll spit in your mouth. I'll like it. <gasps> what is happening? Shh. Will you spit in mine back? I'll bite your bottom lip and make you fucking bleed. Promise to kiss me after. No. No! <laughs> help me, Jesus. Help me. It's not love. It's just lust. It's not love. It's just lust. What the fuck? Okay, girls, break it up! Oh, now you stop them. One phone call and I can lock you both into a real rehab program. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Why is smoking indoors so bad anyway? Because it makes the carpet smell like cigarettes. But it smells good. Cigarettes are like air fresheners. They make you look cool, too. I feel like a doctor in an 80s movie. Yeah, take a fat-ass drag before you tell a mother of three she has cancer. Like, sorry, bitch, I'm just living over here. Emphysema? Never heard of her. Yeah, you can't miss lunch. You're gonna be so hungry. Oh, say it like that again. That's hot. God damn it. Dude, we'll look the other way on your minor fetish and get you a pizza, okay? Does he have a major fetish? No, his major fetish is a minor fetish. So what's the fetish? I told you, a minor fetish. I know it's a minor fetish. What's the fetish for? Minors. Like guys that did coal? Not those minors. So shitty baseball players? What? No. Then what's the fetish? Um, he's into girls under the age of 18. Oh, that's not good. Why are we getting him pizza? Bitch! Hey, what's that for? For reading your little anime book in front of me, you fucking Lego collector. I already said this. It's called manga. I'm gonna call your mom and tell her sorry she'll never have grandkids. What? No! Don't kick me down there! I don't need to. Cause the more Mario trivia you know, the less women wanna fuck you. And you know a whole lot of Mario trivia, don't you, Jeffrey? M more so the canon of the Mushroom Kingdom. You are gonna fuck so many kids in your 30s. How do video games and anime make me a kid like her, huh? That's like asking how does heroin make you a drug addict. I'm getting real tired of you picking on me. It won't be so fun when the shoe's on the other foot. Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me in Skechers? Well, um, uh... I'll take the gun you're saving for the cheerleaders and shoot you in the fucking face with it! All right, that is quite enough, Nicole. What? What'd I do? What I've heard in your verbal attack on Jeffrey is very troubling and downright heinous. Yeah, you forgot everything they said in the bullying assembly. Yeah, those work. Confronted by a staff member and not even an ounce of remorse, this is how Virginia Tech happened, Nicole. Wait, do you mean he's doing the shooting? Because you should probably talk to him then. Go to class, Jeffrey. I'll deal with this troubled student myself. Thanks. You've always had the backs of us students. This is mandatory counseling, Nicole. You'll be in my office every day for the rest of the year until you show improvement. Fucking every day? For how long? You'll be excused from your classes for one hour. This used to be my break time, but now I'll be seeing you in my office 9 a.m. sharp starting tomorrow. Is that clear? Dude, that's so early. Is that clear? Sure, whatever. Now off to class, both of you. How is that rest of the year punishment? Um, what did Jeffrey do? Nothing. Wait, then why did you... You can smoke by yourself again, right? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. It's kind of sad. <laughs>